Have you ever heard of something called reactive oxygen species, uh, ROS for short? Now, I'd never heard of ROS before, but it's actually a very common topic and it's related to oxygen. And what ROS is, is a chemically reactive molecule containing oxygen. And it occurs after the metabolism of oxygen. And it's actually a natural byproduct of that metabolizing uh, process or that, is that a correct word, metabolizing? Anyway, it's a natural byproduct when there's the metabolization of oxygen. Um, now, how does this actually work? Well, it actually comes from uh, environmental stress. So when there are certain types of environmental stress, such as, for example, the radiation that's currently being spewed about from Japan, that actually causes the oxygen to be created, this reactive oxygen species to be created. Now, what this actually can do is that it can actually damage cells, and not just cells in the environment or whatever, but actually cells in the human body, as an example. So the actual um, cell structure can be damaged, and this is related to things such as cardiovascular diseases. It's also related to, of course, then stroke and heart disease as well, so, um, and heart attacks as, as well. So it's actually quite a very serious condition. The other more even serious -er, <laughs> <laughs> That's not a word, by the way, but something even more serious is the fact that it can damage DNA and can cause aging. You may have heard of the term oxidization and how you're supposed to take some kind of antioxidants to prevent oxidation of your cells, oxida oxidation of your cells. So you're supposed to take, for example, vitamin C or vitamin E, as these are called antioxidants. So they're very good for you. They fight that. So very interesting that right now there is more of this being created uh, because of the uh, radiation that's being you know, spread throughout the world because of what's happening in Japan. So please be careful and take more of your vitamin C and vitamin E.